Hi guys, it's me Karen and we've come to do the second part of Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. And we are doing the double page here. So we're going to do this little birdie over here and he's going to be done in pink. And the one on this side is going to be done in the purple colors. So we'll see how far we can get in part two here and I'll get the camera down and we will start. So here we go. We've got the uh, three colors that we are going to be using. So we have black grape, parma violet, and gray lavender. And hopefully they all have their nice little sharp points. And we will start off with the darkest color, second medium, and then the lightest. We might add white in on this one also just to keep it as light as that bird there. And we should be in focus here, so we're going to start off with this one like we did last one on the face. Basically, they're going to be done the same way, so this one should go a little quicker. We are going to add a little cheek here, which I like adding to the little birds. So I'll do that with the darkest color here. Little under his chin. And a little bit on this side also. Leaving the top side of the head the lightest. Just a tiny bit of the darkness coming over. Okay, then we go in with the Parma. And then the gray lavender. Just went over all the colors and I'm blending them together. Okay, I'll go back in with a little bit of the Parma Violet. A little of the, sorry, black grape. And we'll bring a little white in just under the cheek here. I guess it's not really under the cheek, but it's it's close. Just on the outside here. Lighten up a little bit above the eye. So I'll do his beak while we're here since I decided the beaks are going to be down the same color as the birds.
went out of the lines there a little bit. Okay, I'm blend that a little bit better here too. Backwards here. Pencils aren't as warm as they were yesterday, which is nice. Um, they can do the little curls going up here on the head. sharper point on that. If you notice I go through quite a lot of the white Prisma pencil. <laughs> Probably time for me to go get another one. on these little frilly guys down here. So we'll take them um, like the blue one. We'll do one dark, skip one. Pull the dark down on some and pull the dark up from some. Get a little tricky down there. <laughs> we'll just go with the ones that I've already mapped out. There should be one in here. So we'll figure that one out later. Going with the secondary color on these. That's the Parma violet. So the ones I have mapped out, and then I'll have to go back into the ones that don't have any color on them after these guys are colored, just so I know where the colors will overlap and which color it should be. White in here on the tips. I didn't even color those two, sorry. <laughs> Okay, 
red lavender. Okay, and now we have these guys in the back area that I didn't do, and I have to figure out if I want them dark coming up or light. Let's see, we'll take this one as a dark. We need a light and a dark tip here, so we'll do this one as a dark. One can darken. Two light tips. Dark tip. We'll do this one. This one. Okay, the rest of them can be the opposite. So we'll just go in with the They're not easy to figure out these little guys. A bit dark here. Do do do. do. A dark one here. This one has to be light. That one is light. This one has to be light. I think that's the other part of it. <laughs> and this little guy up here. Okay. We're going to go in with the dark and darken up some of these. And then the white and highlight any areas here. We can bring in, um, I'm going to at the end, bring in Posca and correct any little spots that I think need to be corrected. So keep that in mind when you're watching. Um, the um, little things here, we're going to do them just like this one. It's going to be dark at this end and lighten it up. inside I'm just going to make it light because of all of the um, little fluffies coming down here. I don't want to lose those. And there are only three of these. So we'll just go in and darken again. Yeah. 
corner of my hair just to darken this edge up. There we go. Okay. Now these guys, you notice one of these is um, kind of painted over. Oops. <laughs> We're going to do them dark down here. And then the white. And there's a reason for this one to have white, so we can go over that black. I'm giving this green back. <laughs> Go back in with the black grape. Get these a little white too. I'll blend in a little bit of the uh, white and purple into that. That just softens it up a little bit. There we go. Same with these down here. And we'll do the, um, what do you call these? The little lower feathers. Kind of look like scales to me. With the dark down the middle, medium, and white. So we're going to skip the gray lavender on these. Kind of do that lighter color there. Oh, we have some more down here by his feet. This way. Okay. Parma violet. This is a little foot piece. Just the white. Okay. Okay, these kind of got uh, muddied together, so I'm going to darken this wing up. I'm 
mean, I kind of expected it to muddy up, but I want to darken some of these. So we're just going to take in the black raisin, go around one section of this, darken in the tips. bring in the parma and just kind of lightly blend that in. And we'll take in some of that grayed lavender. We'll go in with a black um, pencil and re-darken those also. There we go. So black. And we'll just darken up these lines here. been covered up with the white pencil. Clean these up a little bit. You can also do that with a pit pen. Um, may not work so well on these guys, but it will on the outside. Okay, and then redraw lines that separate these feathers. Okay, and then we'll go down to the next set. Okay, there we are down at this end. And do these wings the same as darkening it up here. But this is black, that's always a good choice. <laughs> Make my black grape a little darker, won't it? Okay, we'll bring that down a little further. I'm going to take this down quite far. I want it to kind of circle there. And then these guys don't have that part, so I'm not going to worry about it. Does not look like I painted over it. Since I did that one a little dark, we're going to go back and darken these. The little black. There. Okay. And with the Parma. And I'm going to take the Parma up into here.
Okay, and the gray lavender. And leave a tiny little room for some white up there. And just where they touch. Okay. And now we have um, the fluff. We're going to do the same as the blue one back here. We're going to just pick and choose the ones that are going to be done in different colors. I'm also going to do the little um, thing on our neck first. So let's do that one. It's not as big. <laughs> I keep grabbing the black. <laughs> Whoops. We're also going to do these little guys up here. I'm just doing one side of it. Gray lavender. And I'm going to do the gray lavender inside of these. So just bringing it down into there. I'm going to go over these with uh, stickles. So it's okay if I color over them. And just kind of blend that all together. I'm going to take a little white and just go in the top of those. Just like that. Okay, now to the tail. That black way over there. <laughs> Okay, so we just pick. We're going to start with the um, center here. So this one's going to be dark. And this one's going to be dark. And this one. I like this one can be dark. These are two separate ones. This one's going to be dark. Carry that dark down a little more so I can see what, what's what here. This one can be dark. We are going to be dark. Come down about here. So. Gonna be dark. You can be dark. Okay, something like that. And since this one's going to be dark and this one light, this one can be dark on this side. Okay, this one's going to have to be dark down here.
This is the only way I can figure it out, so, <laughs> sorry. color a couple of these in and then I'll do the rest of them off camera and then we'll come back and do um, one of these bottles. So it's basically just the same way as the other ones were done. Do the darky lay down and go in with the medium color on top. And then the lightest color. But we're going to have white into these. Run over, that's okay. We'll just use my eraser. Now, if you go over anywhere in the black, too, you can just go back and um, paint it if you don't like the eraser marks or if you get little um, colorations from the pencils themselves like the white you can just go over that with the black paint again just in the areas you want you don't have to paint the whole darn thing over again but you know, just the areas that you got too much of the white pigment on there and then we just go in with the white tips nice and bright. Okay. I don't know if my head was in the way for all that, but sorry. So I'll finish up the tail like that, and then we'll come back and do these um, little vials that they have. <laughs> so I will see you in just a bit. We're done with the um, tail. And I added a little black in for some shading. I'm just going around some areas, like even this little piece, I don't even know if it really needs to be there, but I'm going to sharpen that tip up a little bit. Darken that little area there. We do have feet. Totally forgot about the feet, so I'm going to... The other brick didn't have feet. <laughs> just darken the... Um tips of these areas. It's kind of where he has his elbow for his foot and going up from his toenails. And then we're just going to add white in here since it's a small area. And I don't want it blending in too much with the rest of everything. And there we have our feet, which is cool. Okay. Now, I know the video is getting kind of long, but I know we wanted to do um, some of these little sphere thingies. They look to me like they're, um, especially the one on the other page, has got like... Um, liquid in it. So I'm assuming the rest might have some kind of liquid in it also. So I'm going to do it matching the birds. It's either matching the birds or, you know, making this one blue and that one purple and that one pink. And I think I'm just going to have them go with the birds since they're all kind of Oh, I don't know holding their own, but they're all intertwined too. So maybe we will do them one over from each other. So what I'll do is find the blue one. I'm gonna do this one blue. I'm just gonna bring the indigo down and then up, kind of like I did the um, 
tail feathers and down on this side. Okay. And then, where's the other blue? Slate blue. And bring that. down and up or just like the other blue and then going with the light sky blue and burnish that all over okay gets all over this black. Um, the tops I'm going to do differently, so I'm just going to add in the colors. And since you're blue, this one's going to be purple. This one's going to be pink. So I'm going to bring in the pink colors, which are black raspberry, which we're going to put around the edge here. Match it on the other side. Bring in raspberry. And go over that. Oops. Rosy clay right on top of that. And then light peach. Whatever that might be. I bring everything out, put it on my desk, and then my cat gets up here. I'm blaming it on the cat. Why not? <laughs> it messes up my desk. He does it at night because he wants attention. But I don't want to give him attention when I'm trying to sleep. I have a hard enough time trying to sleep. Back in with the um, black raspberry just to touch up any shading that didn't get done with the other colors. Okay. All of these are going to get um, Pasca on them also. This one needs just a little bit more shading there. So where these lines are, we're going to bring in white. Pasca and get those all blended nicely. Get some white on this one too. Blend it a little bit more. Oops, went down. And we will add in more of the indigo down here. Okay, and we're also going to do his eye while we're here. Um, you'll notice the one circle here. I never follow that pattern, so I'll just go up into this area and I'll go around that, color all that in, leaving a little bit of white space on that side. And then when I go in with the Posca, I'll just add in my own little dots. Okay. When we go in here, 
I'll be putting in the lines on these also. So that's what I mean by putting in lines. I need to get the other Posca pen, but I'll be doing that in their feathers also. Okay, that is it for part two. Part three will be the pink bird, his little herb or orb thing, and we will get working on some of these bead things. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. So take care everyone and I will see you in part three. Bye now.